Well, this came about because I was living in Los Angeles um, with my husband and we got friendly with a very um, clever songwriter called Mark Muller. And uh, I knew he was very successful because he's got a wall full of discs on his, you know, he's one of those people. He, he's written for top recording artists. So I knew it was a big deal, but I'd never expected to work with him. We just get on really, really well. We have the same sense of humour, we laugh a lot. So. That's how it all started. One day I said to him, and I didn't really know honestly what I was talking about, but I just had this bug in my head that I wanted to do something, a piece of theatre. It wouldn't be cabaret because there are people who are much better at that than me, but I'm an actor who sings. And I thought, I just want to do something I can do. And it was as vague as that. And without his help, that would have been it because we wouldn't have got any further. But because he's a writer and has been for many years, he said, should we just sit down and discuss what this could possibly be? So we did. And once we started, we couldn't stop. And it evolved into something that kind of looks like my story, me telling from, the, from six years old upwards. But what we wanted it to be from the very beginning was something that would resonate with people in the audience so that you're, in, you're invited to sit there and go, well, how the hell did I get here? That is the way we've done it. That's what, what it's meant to do. I was offered the part of Mrs. Beaver in The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe for the BBC. I was classically trained, you know. <laughs> so filming started in January in the snowy mountains of Scotland. Now, as you can see, we wore big, furry, egg-shaped costumes. Um, but early on, we spotted a rather serious wardrobe malfunction. Mr. Beaver and I wore these webbed booties, the bottoms of which were made out of leather. So what started happening was one or other of us would slip on the snow, fall flat on our face and go rolling down the mountainside. <laughs> and the director would shout out, Beaver down! My name is Luke Kernahan and I'm the director of How the Hell Did I Get Here? I have to say, and probably something I shouldn't say, it's actually been too much fun. <laughs> I think being in a room with Leslie and Mark, uh, who is the co-writer, wrote all the songs with Leslie, um, and also accompanies her live on stage. Being in a room with the two of them is, is dangerously good fun. It's been wonderful to actually create a show with them. They've been very generous and open because they wrote the show a, a little while ago and they came to me as a director and they have opened up and let me in, which I think is a really generous thing to do. We have had a blast. The boats were affectionately known as syphilis and gonorrhea. <laughs> yeah, everybody was leaping back and forth between syphilis and gonorrhea. It was a lively group and there were 25 students on this trip. 24 of whom were rapidly having sex. It's funny, uh, it's, at times it's sad because it's an honest account. Every single word of this show is true. Every single detail of it is true. But it will be all kinds of different things that you will maybe have had some experience of yourself. So it's two ways, I think. I think you're invited to kind of join in and listen to this and, and get involved with my story, but you will also be thinking along the parallel side of it as to wh where your life has taken you as well. But the songs are magnificent, I can say that because he's a very clever writer. Um, and people have been coming out feeling very, very out buoyed up. And I think honestly at the a moment, you know, if ever we needed a distraction because things are so hard and horrible in the world, that I think it's, it's, it's maybe just a little slice of fun and comfort and something that will take you out of yourself for an hour and 20 minutes. Open up the peas, rinse them nice and slowly. Toss them in the pot like the teacher showed me. Add a little butter, don't forget the bacon. I don't like to brag, but look what I'm making, it's a light supper. 